First of all, I want to say thank you to the Today and Tomorrow Children's Fund for supporting the Childhood Cancer Survivorship Research Program at UCLA because we've been able to make um, tremendous accomplishments through the support of this, um, this wonderful organization. So what have we done with the Today and Tomorrow Children's Fund over the past year? Um, several exciting things. Um, first, I want to talk about the research projects that we've completed over the last year. Um, the first is that we were assessing what are these barriers to survivorship care from the patient perspective. And what we found is that <clears throat> in the study um, that cancer stigma is one of the barriers. So what this means is that p um, families, uh, teens and young adults are not able to talk about their cancer experience because there's judgment placed on them as to why their child had cancer. Um, the young adults and teen survivors, they just want to um, go back and be normal and put this um, diagnosis of cancer kind of hide it away. And we're going to be submitting these findings, or we have submitted these findings to the Journal of Psycho-Oncology and hopefully will um, be published in the near future. We're also going to use these, this money to apply for an R21 grant through the National Cancer Institute in terms of learning how we, we can use this pilot data made possible by the Today and Tomorrow Children's Fund to develop an educational intervention at decreasing this cancer stigma and hopefully ultimately improve access to their long-term survivorship care. Second, we've also assessed the impact that insurance status has on access to care. And that may seem straightforward, but we don't know if there's um, specific types of uh, survivors with or without insurance that are not able to get the appropriate screening. And what we have found is that those uninsured survivors who have moderate to severe life-threatening conditions as a result of their previous cancer treatment um, are not getting access to care. And so um, but what we did find surprisingly is those that had some form of public insurance such as Medicaid um, that can improve the the screening that they're getting. And so this has significant policy implications at the national level because we need to do, um, we have to partner with the current legislat legislative actions to increase access to Medicaid if you have a childhood cancer diagnosis but you're uninsured. We've also completed a collaborative project um, through the Lance Armstrong Foundation Network, and UCLA is one of the eight centers of excellence for survivorship care within the Lance Armstrong Foundation. I was able to very proudly say that I was received funding from the Today and Tomorrow Children's Fund to continue to move the research forward, and as a result of that, they feel that there is you know, great support here at UCLA, and they want to continue to fund our center. Um, we're, we, we completed a, a network project where we um, surveyed uh, young adult survivors about what type of education they're getting at the uh, time of completion of, of cancer treatment. Um, and so through this collaborative research project, we were able to survey over 350 um, young adult survivors, and um, I'm taking the lead on that project, and we're currently undergoing um, the analysis of that data. And then lastly, um, I've, I've also been uh, participating in Children's Oncology Group Collaborative um, uh, Network, and we're doing a review paper on the impact that cancer treatment has on fertility. So as you know, we said it's not just enough to cure the child of cancer, so we want to be able to look at what are the important late effects that are, are uh, greatly impacting the lives of our teen and young adult survivors, and fertility has come up as one of them. In terms of additional funding, building upon what um, Today and Tomorrow Children's Fund has made possible, um, our JCC is extremely supportive of our uh, survivorship research program, and that's our Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center at UCLA. Um, and we now, over the last year, have um, achieved additional funding to support a healthy lives after cancer for um, adolescent and young adult survivors. And we are, um, have developed health education seminars, so building upon all the research that we're doing, and now taking that work and doing a different type of translational research. So taking what we've learned from our research projects but actually implementing health education programs to improve the access to care for our young adult survivors. And we had our first um, Healthy Lives After Cancer educational seminar um, on July 11th and we, it was on health insurance. And then um, 
as I said, we're going to be um, using all this information to apply for additional grant funding to the NCI. And then lastly, we're also, um, our survivorship research program is also training additional researchers um, on cancer survivorship research. So we want to see our, we want to see ourselves here at UCLA um, as, a, as a regional resource for um, childhood cancer survivorship. So the research projects that have been made possible by, by the Today and Tomorrow Children's Fund are now providing mentoring relationships for other um, medical students. Um, we have medical students from Georgetown here at UCLA, students from Michigan, as well as training um, our own. And so we'll be training the next generation of researchers. And then um, we also have held our first annual educational seminar um, on health for healthcare professionals at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. So again, we're taking um, what we know and what we're learning in the research setting um, and then uh, sharing that um, on how to improve the clinical care of um, cancer survivors. So I just want to say thank you on many fronts um, for the, po the funding that you made possible through the Today and Tomorrow Children's Fund.